The Tyranny of Habit No More. Virginia Heffernan is author of Magic and Loss, The Internet as Art. Humans are not generally disposed to radical departures from their daily rounds, but the recent fantasy of optimizing a life for peak performance, productivity, efficiency has created a cottage industry that tries to make the dreariest possible lives sound heroic. Jordan Patterson has been commanding lost male souls to make their beds for years now. The four-hour work week, the power of habit, and atomic habits urge readers to automate certain behaviors to keep them dutifully, dutifully overworking and under-eating. But COVID-19 suggests that Patterson or any other habit preaching Martinet I don't know what that word means. Is not the leader for our time. Instead, consider Albert Camus, Camus, who in The Plague blames the obliteration of fictional Algerian town by an epidemic on one thing, consistency. The truth is, uh, Camus writes of the crushingly dull port town. Everyone is bored and devotes himself to cultivating habits. The habit bound... Townspeople lack imagination. It takes them far too long to take in the death is to take in that death is stalking them, and it's past time to stop taking the streetcar, working for money, bowling, and going to the movies. Maybe, as in Camus time, Camus time. Did I say his name? Oh well. It will take the dual specters of auto, autocracy and disease to take at us to listen to our. Common sense, our imagination, our eccentricities, ooh, and not our programming. A more expansive and braver approach to everyday existence is now crucial so that we don't fall in line with Trump-like tyrannies, Kant and orthodoxy, and environmentally and physiologically devastating behaviors, including current plague time, might see a re oh I say including our favorite driving cars eating meat burning electricity well we have solar panels uh I don't eat meat and yes we drive cars this current plague time might see a recharge commitment to a closer to the bone worldview that recognizes we have a short time on earth the doomsday clock is a minute from midnight and living peacefully and meaningfully together is going to take much more than bed making and canny investments. The power of no habits. Well, like I said, you break the habit, people are like, ah! But listen, do you.